So one of the most significant features of Adobe After Effects CC 2014 is the Refine Edge tool, which basically complements the Roto Brush tool. So I've got this piece of footage here, and we're going to attempt to isolate uh, this woman from the background. And it's a difficult shot for a number of reasons, because we have uh, lots of hair, and we have some smoke as well, which I want to include in the final matte. So I'm going to go to frame zero and I'm going to go to the Roto brush tool. Now before you use the refine edge tool, you basically have to do all the Roto brush work first. So I'm going to double click and we get this uh, green circle with a plus and I'm just going to add these sections here. As you can see, um, this is a Roto brush timeline, so you want to drag this all the way to the end of the animation, because if it's halfway, it's not going to calculate beyond this point. So you want to drag this all the way to the end of your animation. And I'm just going to keep adding sections. So far, so good. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to hit play to track forwards. Make sure that it doesn't slip off. So the edges are looking quite good, nice and tight. And there's a gap here, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. And we have a problem here. So I'm just going to hit stop and I'm just going to come around here. And I'm going to hold down Alt to make it minus. And I'm just going to subtract this bit and then play forwards. So that's fixed that little bit there. I'm just going to hit stop and scrub through. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. So once we've done this work, we can now move on to the refine edge tool. So I'm just going to go back to my composition. As you can see, a uh, black background now. It's isolated the model. And it's pretty good, but um, Obviously, we have some problems with the hair, and we might want to refine this a bit. So we have the Roto Brush and Refine Edge uh, panel here. So we can add some more feathering, just smooth those edges. Um, play with the contrast, reduce chatter. And it's a pretty good result, considering it's completely automatic, except for this bit here. So we basically want to bring in some of this hair now. So I'm just going to select my Refine Edge tool, double click. Now we get this purple circle with a plus. So I just basically want to draw on the line and I'm just going to draw along these edges and you can see it kind of creates this like mask. And this should give you a good idea of what's going to be added to the mat. Now I've already made a mistake. My time marker was at 40 frames and before you start any kind of refine edge work, you want to go back to your base frame. So I'm going to go back to frame zero and I'm just going to do this again. I'm going to add in these strands of hairs. And even you can add in some hairs along the arm here. And now I'm just going to hit play. As you can see, it's literally uh, sticking to the line. It's actually included some of the smoke here. So I'm just going to stop it here and I'm going to come to this frame here. I'm just going to add a few more bits, mainly the smoke, hit play, add in some of this, I'm just going to add in this segment here, play forwards and that captures the smoke quite nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my composition. And as you can see, we've managed to capture the smoke. I mean, this looks, this is amazing. I mean, for me, this is a game changer. Look at the detail on the hair. It just looks so natural. It looks almost as if it was actually filmed against a black background. I mean, it's just amazing, the smoke. Trying to achieve this result with normal green screen keying tools would just be, it would be very difficult. Obviously, we can add some motion blur to this. So where the hand's moving, I can add use motion blur 
we can increase it by increasing the shutter angle. So about here. Decontaminate edge colors. And we can fine tune the matte. But this result is very good considering we used just a couple of brush strokes. So in part two, I'm going to fine tune this matte. Uh, if you found this useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.